Unless you are planning to tow a large caravan trailer, the midsize SUV is the biggest family vehicle that you will ever need. These models are represented across all the market segments, no matter the level of luxury and performance parameters. They are truly valued for their roominess, right comfort and road presence. So let's take a look at the latest 2021 midsize 5 and 7 seater crossovers that do not fail to impress with the ever-improving safety features, practical technological advancements and the coziest interiors in the business. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and you will get access to the detailed overviews of the new car lineups across all body styles. Ring the bell and enjoy the ride! Acura MTX Acura's best-selling three-row is building a solid case for itself in 2021 by moving further up market. The major visual attractions include redesigned dual eye LED headlights, chicane LED DRLs, 3D designed taillights, and dual exhaust outlets. The light truck platform was extended by 3 inches, so now the model has wider tracks and obtains double wishbone front suspension for improved ride quality. The Acura MDX performance ammunition comes in the form of standard 290 horsepower 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6, but now it is paired with a 10-speed automatic. Additionally, the all-new Type S crate that is used by a 3 liter twin turbo V6 with 355 horses and 354 pound feet of torque gets the MDX the title of the most powerful Acura SUV to date. Step inside the cabin to find sports Milano leather seats with exquisite quilting and massage function, digital instrumentation, a 12.3 inch infotainment, and signature edition ELS Studio 3D audio. Volkswagen Atlas Instead of waiting for the next model here, right after the 2021 facelift, the W7 suitor is getting an unusual early mid-year update. Labeled as Atlas 2021.5, the model gets more advanced tech features to go with its new looks. A new generation MIB3 infotainment with multi-phone pairing comes standard on 7 out of its 8 trims, while the travel and emergency driver assists debut on the 4 range topping models. The revised Atlas offers two engine options, a 2.0-liter turbo inline 4 and a 3.6-liter V6 rated at 236 and 276 horsepower respectively. Both mills are mated with an 8-speed automatic and available with a 4-motion all-wheel drive system. On the inside, this VW is comfortable, spacious and practical. The options include a multifunction steering wheel, a 12-speaker audio system, a 10-inch digital cockpit and ambient lighting. Genesis GV80 Genesis makes an exemplary debut on the modern luxury SUV market by bringing a mix of the memorable exterior, non-confusing selection of engines, and an interior that surpasses any expectations from a below $50,000 model. The sposher version of Korea's Kia Telluride and Hyundai Palisade gets a stock 2.5-liter turbo in lane 4, making 290 horses. But the 3.5-liter twin-turbo V6 is destined to become the buyer's favorite, squeezing out 375 HP through an 8-speed automatic to all four. The 5-seat layout is standard, but an optional 7-seat configuration is also on the table. The front two rows have heating and cooling functions, while the driver's spot could be optioned with the active motion driver's seat technology with 7 air cells to fight fatigue. The GV80 interior environment experience is highlighted with a noise cancellation system, a 14.5-inch split-screen infotainment, solid safety package, and Genesis concierge service. Kia Sorento The fourth generation of Sorento is adopting the latest design choices of the brand, becoming more aggressive and boxier on the outside. The new sharp edge Tiger nose grille is accompanied by Tiger Eyeline headlights, while the rear gets prominent vertical lights and trapezoidal exhausts. Additionally, this model gets a hybrid drivetrain for the first time in its 20-year-long history. The system, dubbed the Smart Stream Turbo Hybrid, combines a 1.6-liter TGI, a 1590 HP motor, 
and a 1.49 kWh lithium polymer battery to deliver 230 horsepower and outstanding 37 mpg fuel economy. Moreover, the usual 2.5 liter GTI and turbo gasoline with up to 281 HP output are still on offer. On the inside, the Sorento benefits from the new infotainment and digital instrumentation, wireless smartphone connectivity, available captain chairs, standard third row seating, and a 3D embossed genuine leather trim. VW Touareg E Hybrid and Touareg R PHV car models keep proving that hybridization is not always about better fuel economy, but also a significant boost in performance. The mid-cycle facelift for the Touareg is a perfect example for this statement, since it actually beats the former top-spec V8 TDI-powered models. The system is built around a 3.0-liter V6 engine, an 8-speed automatic gearbox, a 14.1 kWh battery, and a single electric motor. The e-hybrid grade outputs 381 horses, while the R3 Touareg 456. Both channel them to all four wheels. This line of SUVs get 27 miles of electric range and 500 miles of non-stop touring capability. Apart from hybridization, these models undergo a thorough technological uplifting with the standard four-zone automatic air conditioner, travel and park assist suites, and Innovision cockpits with digital instruments, a 15-inch infotainment, plus the R gets IQ light LED matrix headlights. Toyota Venza Once known as a bulky minivan-like family crossover, the Venza nameplate returns to the market with a few aces up its sleeve. Slotting between the Highlander and Compact Rev4, this 2021 model sits on the same TNGAK platform but boasts more elegant exterior design with the thin LED headlights and a sloping roofline at the rear. The SUV is offered exclusively with a hybrid powertrain, which consists of a 2.5-liter four-cylinder and three electric motors. Together, the system promises 219 horsepower and quite impressive 39 mpg in a combined cycle. Among the standard goodies are the on-demand all-wheel drive, 18-inch wheels, full smartphone connectivity, and Toyota's suite of active safety systems. Opting for higher trims, you can get the Stargaze fixed panoramic glass roof, bigger wheels, and a 12.3-inch infotainment. Do not hesitate to smash the like button if you're enjoying our format of lineup reviews. Thanks for your support, and let's get back to it! Bentley Bentayga since its debut in 2015, the Bentayga has sold 20,000 units. On the mass market scales, the number is minuscule. But for the ultra-luxury SUV segment, it has been a huge success, which continues in 2021. The new Bentayga arrives with a couple of exterior revisions that are intended to bring it closer to the new Continental GT and Flying Spur. The front end now houses a wider grille and reshaped air intakes, while the rear boasts a full-width wraparound tailgate with integrated oval lights. The facelifted model initially gets a familiar 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8, delivering 542 horsepower. However, the W12-speed and plug-in hybrid versions are expected to arrive later in the year. Inside the Bentayga is still richly equipped with a 12- or 20-speaker audio system, all-leather upholstery, adjustable ambient lighting, and one of two Breitling dash clocks. The standard infotainment now features an all-new 10.9-inch display, but you can opt for a system with two 10.2-inch screens. Hyundai Santa Fe Hybrid Even with the Palisade tracking the world of family SUVs, the more affordable Santa Fe is still expected to remain the major workhorse within the Hyundai's lineup. Especially so after the stunning refresh that mounts the model onto the new N3 platform, dares the conventional exterior design, brings splasher insights, and electrifies the model for the first time. The facelift introduces signature T-shaped LED DRLs, a wider grille with trim-specific patterns, and 20-inch alloys. The hybrid version of the new Santa Fe 
comes with a 1.6 liter turbo gasoline paired to a 60 HP motor, a tiny battery, a 6 speed automatic, and an optional all wheel drive. The system produces 227 horses and 258 pound feet. Within the cabin, one will find nicer soft touch materials, a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster, and a 10.25 inch infotainment with standard voice guided navigation. Additionally, in early 2021, Santa Fe has been announced to get a new plug in hybrid modification, netting 265 horses. Toyota Highlander XSE Fully redesigned just a year ago, the 2021 Highlander adds a new sporty XSE trim for the first time in its history. The SUV benefits from an upgraded suspension setup, including retuned shocks, new rear stabilizer bar, and higher rate springs. But unfortunately, it gets no powertrain changes. The 3.5 liter V6 makes 295 horses and comes mated to an 8 speed automatic a front-wheel drive, and an optional dynamic torque vectoring all-wheel drive. On the outside, the XSC arrives with a full makeover, featuring an exclusive front fascia, new 20-inch wheels, larger air intakes, and prominent headlights with black accents. The model's bold nature is further highlighted by its sport car-like dual exhaust tips with chrome accents. All in all, this three-row giant remains first and foremost a family vehicle. But now, it delivers a more engaging driving experience and rocks a racy interior with premium JBL audio, dynamic navigation, and smartphone compatibility. Audi SQ7, SQ8, and Q8 TFSI e Quattro. The midsize entries from the Q line have been upgraded as recently as 2020, but some of the models are additionally powered up this year with all new powertrains. In case of the SQ7 and SQ8, it is a 4 liter by turbo TFSI gasoline engine with cylinder on demand system, 8 speed Tiptronic, and Quattro permanent all wheel drive. The setup makes 507 horsepower and 568 pound feet of torque, sufficient to ensure 0 to 60 at 4.1 seconds. These models get adaptive air suspension support with control dampers, all wheel steering, and sport differential. One more model that is attempting to get closer to the S grades in terms of performance is the Q8 TFSI e Quattro plug in hybrid. In this case, the sporty nature is awakened via a 3 liter TFSI V6 coupled with a powerful electric motor. The tandem is offered in two states of tune 55 and 60 TFSI e Quattro that have combined yields of 381 and 460 HP, respectively. Now that we have covered all the SUV sizes, which one would you choose for your family? Subcompact, compact, midsize, or a full size? Share your preferences in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe to Automotive Territory, and proceed to exploring our video database by clicking on the icons on the screen. May the torque be with you!